So I recently put out a video called the 7 Best Sounding Motorcycles, where I put together a list of my favorite sounding bikes, and many of you chimed in, rightfully so, that I forgot many other awesome sounding bikes. So I decided to snag together 7 other bikes that sound rad. Before we jump into this video, I wanted to say you guys have been sharing and watching my channel like crazy lately, so I wanted to run a contest to give back to you, the fans. For the next week, we're doing a giveaway of a GoPro Hero 5 Black if you pick up one of these shirts. That's all you have to do to enter into the competition. Click the link in the description below and buy either shirt and you'll be entered for a chance to win the GoPro Hero 5. The only thing we need is to hit 100 shirts sold and if we can hit 250, we'll do a surprise giveaway in addition. So if you want a chance to win the GoPro Hero 5, all you need to do is pick up one of these shirts and you'll be automatically entered. Good luck, now let's dive in. The Husqvarna Nuda 900. So as many people noted, I miss the awesome sound of the Nuda, which was frankly by design. Yam's gotta make awesome videos every week, bro. I can't blow my load early. The Nuda 900 sports a parallel twin with an awesome bark, and that bark has been made famous by one notable YouTuber called Royal Jardinian. Maybe you've heard of him. Take a listen. The Nuda is one of the meanest sounding motards out there with a sound that backs it up. The Triumph Daytona 675. I said I wasn't gonna include the Daytona, but come on bro, how am I not gonna include the almighty whistling triple? A little known fact about these bikes is that most of the sound isn't actually the exhaust note, it's the induction sound. When you're on it and riding, if you tuck down near the tank, you can actually feel the air being sucked into the bike. Take a listen. cylinder 675 is easily one of my favorite engines. Yes, I own one. Yes, I'm biased. The Yamaha R6. I'll be the first to admit that I'm not a huge fan of inline four cylinder bikes, unless they have gnarly ass cross plane cranks. But the R6 really does it for me. Even though the claimed 17,500 RPM redline isn't exactly true, they still have a relatively unique sound and feel. Check it out. While the four-cylinder sound has become pretty ubiquitous among sport bikes, the R6 still has a characteristic and defining tone to it, particularly at the top end. The KTM Super Duke 1290. Everyone's favorite wheelie machine, except mine because I'm pretty terrible at wheelies. The Super Duke 1290 ripped the front wheel up on power alone all the way into third gear, and the 75-degree V-twin lodged in its featherweight frame packs a deep and unmistakable sound. Listen here. The Super Duke has a beefy tone to it and is definitely one of my favorite V-Twin sounds. The Kawasaki H2R. Alright, I said I didn't like inline 4 cylinders, but come on, when they're tuned to over 300 horsepower by way of a goddamn supercharger, what's not to like? The H2R is Kawasaki's land-based rocket they have built and it sounds impossibly mean. Take a listen. <laughs> Crap. 
crazy whistling supercharger blow off valve noises and an eardrum exploding exhaust, the H2R is a ridiculously loud and not road legal monster of a machine. The Aprilia RSV4. Ah, the V4 that I missed last time, with good reason, remember, gotta make part two. The RSV4 is Aprilia's champion superbike with a fire breathing four cylinder engine configured into a V4. They sound incredibly aggressive and have a distinct tone. Take a listen. The RSV4, while not as rare and insane as the Desmo Sedici, reminds us that V4s are truly one of the best power plants devised by manufacturers. The Harley V-Rod. So in my last video, some people were upset that I didn't include any cruisers into the mix, largely because much like inline four-cylinder sport bikes, they basically all sound the same. However, I will make an exception for everyone's favorite muscle cruiser, the Harley V-Rod, Q VMAX people getting triggered. The V-Rod has an unmistakable, burbly, American-made, screaming eagle, freedom I'm Jizzin V Twin. Take a listen. While I'm not a huge fan of how they look, all right, maybe a little bit, the V-Rod has a sonorous and old school charm that makes it difficult not to appreciate. Thanks for checking out this video, guys. If you haven't yet, feel free to subscribe to my channel. I post all kinds of hilarious and awesome videos for your viewing pleasure. Take it easy, tune in next time. See you later. See you later.